Hi, my name is Harshita and this is my telescope. This is the part 2 of the telescope series and let's get started. Alright, so in the previous video, I talked about different types of telescopes and mainly I talked about reflective and refractive telescopes. Today, we will talk about the third type of telescope that is the catadioptric telescope. So basically catadioptric telescopes are a combination of reflective and refractive telescopes but based on the company, their manufacturing changes, maybe there are a lot of different kind of mechanisms involved or maybe there are certain company secrets involved with how they manufacture the glasses or how they manufacture the lenses of the telescope but they basically have a normal simple straightforward mechanism and we are going to talk about that today in the part one of the telescope video i also talked about a telescope comprising of a telescope tube that has all the optical system then i talked about an equatorial mount to support the tube and eyepieces for magnification Today we will see more components of the telescope and basically what goes into setting up a telescope. A type of catadioptric telescope is the Cassegrain series, right? There are different types of Cassegrains. For example, the popular ones are the Schmidt Cassegrain telescope and the Maxito Cassegrain telescope. The Schmidt Cassegrain telescope has different kind of optical glass in the front and Maxito Cassegrain telescope with somewhat a similar design has a different kind of glass. On one hand, Schmidt Cassegrain has a rather complex curve in the corrector plate and Maxito is a deep dish meniscus. The one we are going to talk about today is this, the classical Cassegrain telescope. Classical Cassegrain does not have a corrector plate. It has two mirrors in the optical system. Okay, so this is the telescope's tube that holds the whole optical system inside it. When we are talking about a classical Cassegrain telescope, its primary mirror is parabolic and its secondary mirror is hyperbolic. The primary mirror is fixed the primary has six collimation screws and the secondary has three collimation screws with a center screw. Here we have a Crayford style focuser with a two inch adapter. Crayford focusers are considered better than the traditional rack and pinion focusers. They have a smooth spring loaded shaft which holds the focus tube against the bearing surfaces and controls the movement. Here you can see that the focuser has a dual speed focuser, right? So a dual speed focuser can provide two focusing speeds by using a set of coaxial knobs. One is for fast focusing and the other is to fine tune that focus. Next, we have an equatorial mount. This system is basically a tripod with a mount and a mounting shaft. Let's look closer. There are many components on the mount. Okay, so let's zoom into the mount. Here, you can see a lot of components, right? So the first component is the counterweight. Then we have a counterweight shaft base. This is a latitude dial. Based on your location, you can set that latitude for your telescope. 
then we have a polar alignment viewfinder on the mount and then we have two tube fixing screws okay so there are a few things that we should take in account the first there are slow motion controls to fine tune the movement of the telescope then we have the counterweight safety pin even if you lock the counterweight correctly don't forget the safety cap then we have the latitude adjustment handle and the azimuth control knobs to set the latitude of your location then we have the deck setting circle as well as the ra setting circle around the viewfinder so i think using these terms let's understand what they mean what is deck and ra okay so let's zoom in to this side of the mount here we can see these two knobs right so these are locks this is called a deck lock okay so here you can see the movement along the axis and how i'm locking it down the next is the ra lock you can see how i'm locking both these locks and how this movement is east west north and south so basically what is this deck and ra right first you need to understand what is a celestial sphere it is not the earth it is an imaginary sphere around the earth just imagine a sphere around the earth with an infinite radius we can locate a celestial body with these values with respect to having the center of the earth as the center of this celestial sphere so deck and ra are those two latitude and longitude values which are used to position any celestial body in a celestial sphere okay so let's understand the role of ra and deck here ra stands for right ascension so ra measures east and west on the celestial sphere and is like the longitude on the earth whereas the deck means declination declination measures north and south on the celestial sphere and is like the latitude on the earth the ra and the deck of an object specify its position uniquely on the celestial sphere just as the latitude and longitude do for an object on the earth's surface okay now i want to share certain videos of the general process of assembly for my telescope this is an e type circlip so your telescope package comes with all of these things that you use to assemble for your telescope you lock the mounting shaft and go ahead with the rest of the assembly
as you can see i have roughly assembled all my components on the mount that is the basic tripod right and yeah but i have not polar aligned anything so maybe in the next video i will try to cover how to polar align your mount basically your telescope and how to get ahead with that uh, it depends where you're living right if you are living in the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere you have to use the northern celestial pole or the southern celestial pole these two are two different kind of star systems uh, that you have to align your telescope to so maybe we will cover that in the next video till then bye